during the meanwhile. No, 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 no. Well, hello, it's Dexter and me, and it's uh, another Tech Tuesday uh, treat. Well, today's Tech Tuesday is uh, a bit of a tutorial, so it's a Tech Tuesday tutorial treat. Anyway, yes, uh, a while back I posted a video uh, where I uh, went out and uh, shot some mushrooms uh, and then focus blended uh, the results to produce, you know, uh, one uh, frame. Now looking back on that video, uh, it was all right, you know, the, the image wasn't anything. I didn't really shoot enough images, to be honest. But um, what was really lacking was any real uh, tutorial on how to use uh, Helicon Focus, the piece of software that I used to uh, to blend the final results. So I figured what I would do today is uh, take some pictures, which I just have, of uh, my lovely uh, Fujika 6 film camera. I've taken around about uh, 20 odd images of it, focused from back the, to front using my D700 and the 105mm uh, macro lens. And what I'm going to do now is go through uh, the steps I would take to uh, blend these images in Helicon Focus. Right, uh, let me just uh, get my screen recording on. There we go. Are we recording? No, not yet. Hang on a minute. Uh, I'll get there. Uh, Shift Command 5. There we go. That's it. Record entire screen. Right, there we go. Right then. What I've done is, uh, first off, I have uh, taken all the images off uh, the memory card, uh, the raw files, and loaded them into this folder, uh, which I've named Stacked. Uh, as you can see, there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 images. Uh, I need to put the little count thing on the bottom. Tonight. 24 images uh, of my Fujika 6. Uh, now what I need to do first, uh, because uh, a Helicon Focus can't work with uh, RAW files, is to convert these to uh, DNG. Uh, so what I need to do is open up uh, a little application called Adobe DNG Converter, which is a free app you can uh, download. Uh, select the folder with all the images in, and I've called it stacked for uh, for ease of use so select all those uh, convert them all and I'm putting all the results into a and it's done it already look into a folder called converted right so what we need to do now then if we quit uh, that is open up a helicon focus it's really simple very very intuitive uh, piece of software to use go to file open images uh, already got the converted one up near so I've gone to, through this once already to make sure it did work. Uh, highlight the first, shift, then highlight the last, and open all these. Uh, now what Helicon Focus does now, it opens all these images up uh, on the right hand side. Uh, now there are a few little options down below. I left these uh, as default basically. So rendering method is method B, uh, depth map. Radius I've left at eight, smoothing at four. Uh, I haven't found any need really to mess about with these. And if I just press render, uh, it will now build uh, the fully blended image uh, before my very eyes. Uh, it's a little bit quicker on my MacBook Pro <laughs> than it is on the Mac Mini, uh, but it won't take long. It won't take long to blend these uh, 24 images. I'll probably do, do it in less uh, less than a minute, I would imagine. And it's quite good fun uh, to actually watch the image being built uh, in front of you anyway on on the screen. Um, here we go. It's starting to appear, and there we have it. On the right, we have the fully focus stacked image. All we need to do now is press file and save it. Give it a name. Uh, it will save it as a uh, as a TIFF uh, or uh, yeah, TIFF TIFF compressed JPEG or DNG. Let's save it as a TIFF. Call it uh, Fujika Stack. There we go. Uh, not not C Stack Stack. You can map it. Right. Save. 
and there we go. We click quick click on focus. Uh, if we have a look now in our stacked folder where it was saved, if you look at our converted folder where it was saved, <laughs> I saved it to the wrong folder. There we go. And there it is. There is uh, there is the image. And then you can obviously you can import that now into in, into Lightroom or whatever um, image editor you use of your choice. Uh, to um, edit it uh, to your taste right well that's it really really simple short little video for this uh, Tech Tuesday tutorial treat um, there we go uh, thanks very much as ever for watching stay safe stay well look after yourselves your loved ones your pets and look after your look after your software too and your DNGs look after them and all <laughs> all right then just uh, just be nice okay be nice to each other promise me all right Bye-bye.